Emmanuel, Matthew 1.23 Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and a bear with son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, meaning the God with us. Jesus Christ to empowers his followers to change the world today. Distance is not a barrier to God's move. Emmanuel TV, God with us. Yes, we want to listen to yet another wonderful testimony from the young woman we are watching on our screen. Madam, you welcome in Jesus' name. Please tell us your name and share with us your testimony. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. People of God, Emmanuel. My name is Antonia Aude. I'm a Nigerian living in Congo DR. I came to testify to the glory of God and to shame the devil that has put me into, I don't know what I'll call it, into torture for 14 good years. I was in a man's house without getting pregnant. For 14, 14 good years I was barren. I used to cry day and night. I used to think, sometimes I would even think that there is no God. So you mean the problem you were suffering from in the past is barrenness? Barrenness, barrenness for 14 good years. And there's nothing I've, I did not do to see, you know, to my own ability to see that I will get pregnant. But nothing happened. Nothing worked. Tell us the places that you've been to in search of solutions. What I went to hospitals. I went to hospital, from hospital to hospital. Anywhere they say that the, the, the doctor is a good gynecologist, I will go. After finding a problem, they will treat me and no, there will be no result. And, and I, you know, some people started telling me that I'm not serious, that I have to do everything. So they introduced me to even native doctors. I went, and to the glory of God, nothing happened too. I came back, I begged God for, for forgiveness, to forgive me for stepping there. I continued searching for solution to my problems, all to no avail. So how did you come about your blessing? Until one day a friend that, traveled to, that came to Nigeria, from Congo to Nigeria, she came to this synagogue Church of All Nations and brought anointed water when she came back because we started even watching the Emmanuel TV in her house. So when she came back, she brought anointed water for me. She encouraged me that I should not lose hope, that I should use it. I'm a lover of Emmanuel TV, so I loved the, the gift. I thank her so much. So when so I received it... You mean a friend brought anointing water for you yes. as a gift? Yes. Okay, continue. She gave me the anointed water. So when we got home... Me and my husband, we prayed with it, we sprinkled ourselves, we asked God to please forgive us of every, anything that we have done that wanted all this problem. That He should listen to our prayer, that He's not an unjust God, that He should attend to us and put a smile on our face. Because people have said so many things. People have advised Him to even marry, that maybe I spoiled my womb when I was in school. And me, sometimes I even encourage him to marry, that maybe it will not come through me. So, but still God saw us through, and we were together until that faithful time that, that that friend gave me the anointed water. And after using it, I met with my husband, and lo and behold, I missed my period, and God did it for me, what I could not see. Shall we put our hands together for Christ Jesus? Indeed, this is a tears of joy. And now, can you continue with your testimony? What has happened to you now? What was not possible for so many years was possible that time. I could not believe it. I was even doubting. I said, could I carry a child in this womb? That maybe, that, you know, before I was thinking, maybe I don't, God forgot to put womb in my system. So, but when we went to hospital, we confirmed it. I was so happy. 
and I say that I must come to come down to Nigeria to shame the devil that has put me through this problem. Shall we put our hands together once again for Christ Jesus? To God be the glory. What was impossible with man, God Almighty made it possible. We thank God Almighty. And can you tell us what is beside you, the document beside you? Can you explain it to us? This is the report that confirmed that of a truth I'm pregnant. I'm now eight months pregnant. And it confirmed it. So 14 years barrenness is a thing of the past now. And now that God Almighty has brought your dream into reality, what advice do you have for people watching you right now? What do you want to tell them? People of God, I want to tell you that this God is great. God of TB Joshua is alive. At the time, they wanted to, you know, weigh me down by all these rubbish stories that Nigerians used to, you know, tell. They say, eh, hey, it's Antichrist, this, that. I say, I, I told them, no. Because when I used that anointed water, the man of God appeared to me in a dream and delivered me. So I told them, no, if this man is not a man of God, that another thing would have come to that dream, you know, to scare me or, you know, but I'm telling you that this God of TB Joshua is a true God. He's a true God. And I'm telling all of you that are looking for the fruit of the womb. This God that remembered me and after 14 years put a smile on my face. We visit all of you one by one in Jesus' name. Amen. Indeed, God Almighty can choose to use any medium to express himself. And today he has chosen to use the medium of the anointing water to express himself in your life today. Shall we put our hands together once again for Christ Jesus? Yes, we want to advise you that you should make God's word the standard for your life and so that this wonderful miracle that has happened in your life will remain permanent in Jesus' name. And before we go, can we just see the, the, your belly, the pregnancy? Show it to the world and let them see that, yes, indeed, God Almighty has done it. Mesdames et Messieurs, nous sommes en train d'écouter ce merveilleux témoignage de cette dame qui est une Nigériane et qui réside en République démocratique du Congo. Elle nous dit que pendant 14 ans, elle a eu à faire face à la stérilité. Elle a visité plusieurs médecins spécialistes, mais il n'y avait pas de solution. Dans son désespoir, elle s'était même rendue chez les charlatans et les tradipraticiens, mais ces derniers n'ont pas pu réussir à, à répondre à ses besoins. Elle a fait face à beaucoup d'humiliations et à des persécutions, car les gens la traitaient de tous les noms. Par la grâce de Dieu, une de ses amies euh, visita la synagogue église de toutes les nations et lui ramena l'eau d'onction qu'elle administra avec son mari. Le Seigneur Jésus-Christ l'a béni et aujourd'hui, elle porte une grossesse de huit mois, mesdames et messieurs, pour la gloire de Dieu. Elle a dit qu'après avoir administré l'eau d'onction, elle vit le prophète en rêve qui l'a délivré de toutes ses impuretés. Elle a pu concevoir, aujourd'hui, elle porte cette grossesse pour mettre la honte sur le diable car le diable est menteur. Ses larmes de douleur d'hier se sont transformées en larmes de joie aujourd'hui. Elle rend toute la gloire à Dieu et remercie le Seigneur de l'avoir béni. www.goan.org Go to the Visit Us page and for those from within Nigeria you can call the three visit lines that appear on the website. For those from outside Nigeria there are some frequently asked questions that will assist you in your visit procedure. 
remember, it is essential that anyone from outside Nigeria should fill in the questionnaire. Please remember to answer every question that is asked. And after you have filled in the questionnaire, remember to click send. Please note, you must wait to receive an invitation or confirmation of your visit from us before making any traveling arrangements or flight bookings. All communication with the Synagogue Church of All Nations should be through the following email address. Info at scoan.org We look forward to hearing from you. Emmanuel, God with us. Emmanuel, Matthew 1.23 Behold, a virgin shall be the child, and a bird of son, and they shall call his name. Jesus Christ to empower his followers to change the world today. Distance is not a barrier to God's move. Emmanuel TV. God with us.